On Friday, we had a packet you were supposed to turn in. Some people did not turn in that packet. You know what I'm talking about? No. I'll, co I'll tell you if you didn't turn it in. I had a couple not turn it in. They got a bad grade for it. We got to get that fixed. If you're wanting an optional worksheet instead, because you and that packet are done, I have an optional one. There's good news and bad news. The good news is that we're talking about something other than Euler circuits and paths today. The bad news is they're called Hamiltonian circuits and paths, and they're a little bit different. The even better news is that you need this handout. So let's talk about and how to make it useful now. And why do you need this handout? Because you have a quiz. You have a quiz tomorrow. And you have a quiz on Friday. Why do you have two different quizzes? Because I'm trying to make your life a little bit easier. Tomorrow's quiz is only Euler. Friday's quiz is only Hamiltonian. I don't want people to get them confused, hence why there's two quizzes. So there's a quiz tomorrow on Euler. There's a quiz on Friday on Hamiltonian. I'm trying to help you not get confused, hence the two quizzes. So you can use this handout on the quiz, so let's make this handout useful and make sure it has all the things we need to know that would require a pen and actually having the handout. Lord, you help us all. I'll let you get your lives together. Don't you think you might want this? You can use this on the quiz. It's on the podium. Uh, you get a new one too. Thank you. Okay, there are some easy points available for you. We'll see. I hope so. So we've been dealing with Euler stuff for a while. What do we want to cross? Cross every what? Like we've had these dots and then we've had these things drawn and then we've been trying to figure out whether or not it was Euler. What were we trying to do? Cross every... Yes, which we were calling a road, yes. So I'm going to give it to six. Was that you? That was me. I know she said line. And who said road after that? It was Andrew. Okay, two and three, you can have a point. Okay, so literally, that's the only thing that's going to change today, which, again, doesn't help you for your quiz tomorrow, because your quiz tomorrow is straight like oiler. But as for today, that's the only thing that's going to change. Instead of wanting to cross every road, instead we just want to come to every house. So let's, and I know that sounds stupid, but it's, it's not. So if we're the guy who goes around and picks up um, the branches and stuff on the side of the road, then we need to cross literally every road. We can't skip around. We've got to go down every single road and make sure we've gotten up all the junk on the side of the road that people threw out. But if we're the mailman, we don't have to cross every road. The poor mailman does not want to drive down every single street. The mailman literally wants to visit every single house and go back to the post office. So that's what today is doing. It's called Hamiltonian, and that's when we just visit every single house. It's okay if you skip a road. In fact, we would like to skip some roads. The poor post office guy does not want to drive down every single road. So that's going to be the difference between Euler and Hamiltonian. But again, your quiz tomorrow is just Euler. Okay, we talked about Euler paths and circuits last week, and I felt like after Friday we really had it cleared up. What was the deal with an Euler path? How many odds? That's the one with exactly two. Three, get your point. Okay, how do you figure out the vertices? You count. Like right now, A has two roads poking out of it. C has two, D has two, B has two. And those are all even numbers. So that's what we're looking at when we say even or odd. Okay, an Euler circuit is even more special. And it has how many odds? Zero odds. 
Okay, and then I confused the bejesus out of somebody last period, so I want to make sure I'm not confusing six, because normally y'all are a little, a little smarter than I give you credit for. If you're a circuit, you're also a path. So I'm going to put two odds or zero odds. So what I've, what I've drawn is two, 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 two. So for sure it's a circuit, but it's also a path. Can someone tell me another thing we think about when we think of a circuit, an Euler circuit? We talked about it before we started talking even and odd. What made from the circuit? Yes, start at A and, yes, so I'm going to give 1 and 5 a point. So a circuit, you have to start and end at the same point. If I start at house A, I end at house A. A path, you don't have to start in an A. You just have to s s cross every street. And the only reason I'm writing that is because technically, when you and I started A and ended A, we did cross every street. So technically, a circuit is a path. It kind of reminds me of that de great debate you used to have in math class. And you don't have to draw it if you don't want to. But your teacher used to confuse the bejesus out of you with rectangles and squares. Like this was a rectangle, this was a square, and a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Like square was super special. Yes, it is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. In the same way, a circuit's path, I mean, uh, it's very similar in that paths and rectangles are the same. Circuits and squares are the same. Circuits and squares are super elite, super exclusive, but technically, if you're a square, you're a rectangle. Technically, if you're a circuit, you're a path. <sighs> okay, and then there's only one new thing we need. To, well, there there's some vocab things I'm gonna have, we're going to circle in here just in case. Just in case. Because I literally don't remember what word it was on the quiz. No, not unless you want it. Don't put that. Okay, there is one more thing I want to talk about. <clears throat> and we'll come back and add it in just a second. I do want to add some vocab things. So... I call it a path, but some books call it a trail. A path and trail are the same thing. I literally don't remember which word's on the quiz tomorrow. So I have both written down. So if you see the word path or you see the word trail, you know they're synonyms and they mean the same thing. I mean, plus it says exactly what you were thinking. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Visit every edge once and only once. Like you already, you could have figured that out. Okay, on the next page, sometimes they call circuits and graphs the same thing. I normally just say circuits. Maybe the quiz says graph. I don't know. I doubt it. You too, dear. Now, you and I call it a vertex, and we've talked about It can't have even or odd, and we were calling them even or odd vertices. There's another word for that, and it's on here as well, and it starts with a D, and you use it a lot in algebra to the trig, especially when you were talking about trigonometry. It was blank and radians. What was the other blank? Degrees, two and three. So they might call, they might call like this point A, they might say it has a vertex of three. They might say it has a degree of three. They might even use the word valence three, which looks like vertex. They're still, every single time they put anything like that, they're still meaning I see one, two, three things poking out of A. Do not overthink your life. Any word you see that has a three next, to, they're saying there are three things poking out of A. That's it. Okay, and this is the only thing that I feel like we have left to say. Otherwise, I seriously could give you the quiz today and 95% of you would rock it out because you had path and circuits on Friday. And the only thing I was worried about is that we never actually talked about this word connected. You had a problem dealing with it in your textbook and you rocked it out in your textbook. But then on Friday in the packet, you didn't rock it out. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page with connected. So I'm going to draw me an ugly picture.
Is this graph connected? No. We had one in the book that was not connected either, which I normally say disconnected because that's just me. Two points if you can tell me which what the deal was with the one in the textbook. What was going on in between the two little cities? And she can have her two points. So if there's a river or some sort of gap and we're disconnected, life gets sad. And here's why it gets sad. Because this is two. This has two poking out of it. And this has two. This is two, two, two. And you're like, oh, yes. It's a circuit. They're all evens. It's a circuit and a path. Because Allison is like me, and if we count all twos, they're all evens. It's a circuit and a path by my rules. And normally that would be true, except when it comes to disconnected. Because, again, our goal is to cross every single stream. So if Emily's in her car, and she drives down this road, and then she drives down this road, and then she drives down this road, is there any way for her to get to those roads? No. So even though it met the requirements of being all evens, it's not a circuit or a path because there was no way you could actually do the goal of crossing every street. So there was one exactly like that in your packet. It was this way. And most of you missed it. Most of you counted. So this was degree two. This was degree one, one, two, two, two. And you were so excited because there were two odds. And there were one, two, three, four evens. And you were so excited because there were exactly two odds. So you wanted to say, yes, it was a path. No, it wasn't a circuit, but yes, it was a path. Most people, if they missed something on the packet on Friday, that's what they missed. But no, it's not a path either. I know it only had two odds. I get that. But there's no way Emily can drive down this street, drive down this street, drive down this street, and then what, does she have a time machine? How is she getting to those other two streets? It's not going to happen. Okay, so I know you're like me, and you like to have everything listed at the front because you're like, I really don't want to flip through things. So if you want to write that, the front where we had that other cute list you could add disconnected it may have put an example to yourself like the river is there something in where Emily can't actually drive down every street okay so that's our that's that this is supposed to help us are there any questions about Euler again I think oh, English. Every group can have a point. That was just terrible. I think. I think most people had Euler pass and circuits down yes on Friday. The only thing was the disconnected and connected, but Miss Compton never said anything about that. So why were you supposed to know? You're not geniuses. I mean, you are geniuses, but you didn't have to know. You're supposed to be psychic. I think you'll rock it out on tomorrow's Euler Path and Circuit quiz. I don't know. Again, there's another quiz on Friday for just Hamiltonian. Today is just Hamiltonian. It's 6.2 in the textbook. You only have to do 1 through 8. It's not going to take you that long. Oh. Are there any questions about anything? Perfect.